Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, another video on HackRF or in Software Defined Radio, one of the applications of Software Defined Radio. And what we're trying to do, uh, we're trying to explore different type of tools which we have available on uh, on Linux distribution called Dragon OS Focal X. Uh, very beautiful distribution. It has already all the tools, all the very common tools related to Software Defined Radios are pre-compiled in this. So you don't have to compile it. Normally, people were having problems. I was having problem uh, where do I have to go to GitHub and compile it, and I was always missing a dependencies and things like that. So using this uh, distribution of Linux, uh, it already comes pre-compiled with a lot of tools that I need uh, to work on my software-defined radio devices like Hack, Hack RF, Pluto SDR, USRPs, and your RTL SDR dongle. These are the four uh, different type of devices that I have. So. Last video was, last couple of videos were on Wi-Fi and today we're going to look at something related to Bluetooth. Uh, so I have my Hack RF which is connected. For that there is a pre-compiled tool which is known as Mirage. Uh, we're going to simply go and go to my terminal and I'm going to go to cd usr user slash source slash I'm just going to do source. So all the pre-compiled tools are compiled in user and source directory. So once you're in this directory, go to ls and you will find Mirage there. Just simply open up your Mirage. This is a, this allows me. So Mirage will allow me to actually sniff uh, Bluetooth packets. So here, here it is. Since it's in blue, since it's in blue, you can I can just simply go into cd Mirage. And once I'm in Mirage. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go to ls, I'm going to see what files do I need to run. So, so this is in, in, in green, so which means it's a Python script, I can run it. So in order for me to run it, I'm going to type sudo uh, period forward slash and then I'm going to type uh, mirage underscore launcher and this will launch the tool for me. So once the tool is launched, uh, then I'll show you how you can actually run it. So Mirage is there, just simply type in list. What are different modules this particular software has? Uh, we have module which is related to uh, Bluetooth. We have modules which is related to ESB, IR modules, Mozart, Wi-Fi modules, and Zigbee. Uh, I was looking around with this, and I was a little bit playing around with this, and I was actually playing with Wi-Fi. It turns out it, the Wi-Fi module does not have support of HackRF. The only module that is there that has a support of the uh, Bluetooth is actually your Hack RF and then some other devices. Because I own a Hack RF, that's why I was looking for a module that has Hack RF support. Uh, in order for you to use different modules, especially a Wi Fi module and Zigbee module, you gotta have uh, a device that is there on their web website. That device is compatible with those modules. So now, once you have everything is listed out, since we are experimenting with Bluetooth packets, what I'm gonna do. Uh, in order for you to actually run this, you're going to load those modules. So to simply type load and type in BLE underscore, oh, sorry, BLE underscore and, and hit tab. So you'll find there are different type of uh, modules that you can load. For example, you can load a crack, connect, advertise, monitor, scan, sniff, master, jam, whatever you want. So for the sake of simplicity, uh, for the sake of, so a lot of modules are there, BLE Connect, BLE Crack, Sniff, Jam. Uh, for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to simply load in my scan module. Once I load my scan, scan module, it's already loaded and I'm going to set the interface. I'm just going to look at my argument first. Once I look at my argument, my interface is not HackRF, so I need to change that. So in order for me to change this, simply type in set, capital I, tab, and then simply type HackRF. And then once I do ARGS argument, I would see that my module is there. So my interface is set now. And what I'm going to do now is just just simply type in run to run this command. So as you can see, clearly see, this is initial, initialized. And I have this. Uh, I'm going to press this. And let's see if I'll be able to capture something related to this. Here we go. So this is some uh, uh, like a earlier version of uh, AirTag. This is also advertising, so you're also capturing those packets. It depends how many Bluetooth devices are active. Based on that, you will get that. Once this is finished, since I already have only have two devices, one is my Apple and one is the
this this key, this tracker, because the name right here is a tracker. So this tracker was there. So I'll be able to see this. Uh, now the next thing that I want to do, I want to exit it out. Somehow I don't know. It has a glitch of my laptop or what. Uh, if I want to run another one, another like for example, if I want to load another module. I was having trouble. It was not working. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply disconnect my HackRF and I'm going to close this and then I'm going to open it again. I'm going to connect my, I'm going to close this. I don't know. This is the issue that I was having because I want to show you the capability of this. So now I have my HackRF plugged in. Now I'm going to go and do exactly the same thing. Go to Mraj again. Uh, so CD, uh, user, source, Mirage. And then I'm going to run sudo forward slash mirage underscore launcher. I'm going to run this. And then I'm going to show you how you can use it to sniff packets. So I'm going to load ble underscore sniff. I'm going to look at my uh, arguments. What are the arguments? So this one has a device called microbit. Microbit is also another device which is supported. So I'm not going to use microbit. I'm going to set my interface to be uh, interface to be hack RF and my sniffing mode. I'm going to set my sniffing mode to be. I'm only interested in advertisement packets. So I'm going to change this to sniffing mode to be adver advertisement advertis only. So I'm only interested in advertisements. So when I'm going to look at my argument, I would see advertisements are there. So I'm just going to simply run it now. Now my hack RF is initialized. As you can see, there are a lot of Bluetooth and I'm going to press this. All the advertisement packets that I would see, I will, I will see it uh, here uh, popping up on, on my screen with their MAC addresses and things like that. So this is how you're going to sniff your Bluetooth packets uh, using Mirage. Uh, there's also another tool. So I'm just going to simply log out from it. And there's also another tool, which is also a very beautiful tool. I'm just going to simply close this. Uh, this is under, I think, other and go to BTLE. So that is another beautiful tool for sniffing uh, Bluetooth packets. I'm just going to simply go to BTLE. It's going to pop up on the screen. I'm going to LS it. It's also located in user and source uh, source directory. Uh, anything in, 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 in green, it's executable. Uh, so what I'm going to do, it has support for BTLE Blade RF, Blade RF for transmit, Blade RF for receive. If it doesn't say anything else, that's mean it has an hack RF support. So in order for me to run it, I'm just going to simply go to period for slash BTLE because I want to use my hack RF at a receiving mode underscore RX. And I'm just going to simply run it. Now, let's see. All righty. I'm going to do it again. Let me just try to do it again. Okay. Okay. I'm having an issue where it says my hack RF busy. So what I'm going to do, because I've run the last previous command, command uh, using, uh, what do you call, um, Mirage, I'm just simply unplugging it and plugging in my USRP again one more time just to make sure and I'm gonna run this command again and I'll see what do I get uh, I'm just gonna wait for it to initialize then I'm gonna go BTLE RX all right so once you run this command uh, we'll wait for it to get populated you'll get exactly the same thing that you were receiving it with Mirage with a lot of other information there uh, because I'm using so it automatically sets the gain for your hack RF it automatically set the gain of your local uh, low noise amplifier and and you will start seeing the packets the more devices you will have in the area that is using Bluetooth the more uh, more information will get populated so so this this is what I wanted to show you uh, using BTLE and using Mirage how you can use your hack RF to actually sniff packets and you can do a lot of things with it. Uh, uh, that's all I have to say. If you have any questions, uh, leave it in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.